So, uh, young legionaries, despite being very old and no longer being around, you may have heard of the Romans and their home, Rome. They conquered with their legionaries and became the largest empire of their time. They set the foundation of governments for many modern nations, including the United States. They built massive structures like the Colosseum, which gladiators fought in. Their language, Latin, is the parent to many modern languages, like Spanish and Italian. We still use many Latin phrases today. In fact, the greeting that I started this video with is Latin. Salve means hello, and when I end this video, I will say vale, which means goodbye. There is something everyone can find interesting about Rome, so let's go over the history of this fantastic civilization from its beginning to its end. It all started back in 753 BC. You might be wondering how long ago that really was. As of 2022, the United States is 246 years old, so that was over 11 times as long as the U.S. has even been around. That's a really long time ago. A man named Romulus founded a very small city in the middle of Italy, which he named after himself. That is where the name Rome comes from. He founded this as a kingdom, meaning there was one king who ruled over his territory and he could do whatever he wanted. This would be passed down to his son, and then his son, and so on. This continued for 250 years as Rome grew from just a small city to a moderately sized city with control over the surrounding areas. But after a cruel king in 509 BC, the people threw him out and established a republic. A republic is a government similar to what we have today in the United States. It is where the people elect politicians to represent their interest. The Romans were so proud of their government being run by the people that they named themselves the Senate and People of Rome. The Roman people were so scared of one person becoming too powerful and making them a kingdom again that they had two people leading them rather than just one. This would be like if we had two presidents at the same time. The Romans called their leaders consuls. Rome would expand even more as a republic. They took over Italy, the country that looks like a boot, which brought them into a series of major wars with Carthage, the other very strong nation in the Mediterranean. After the Romans defeated them, they expanded into Greece and Spain. Unfortunately, they began to suffer from their own success. Have you ever heard the phrase, Rome wasn't built in a day? It's about how great things take time to build and create, like a super big Lego. But the Roman Republic began to expand so rapidly, it started problems back home. A man named Julius Caesar was born during this time. He was a politician and a general, and he became very powerful. Remember what I said about Rome's fear of a single person becoming too powerful? Some senators feared that Caesar would make himself a king and plotted to kill him. After he died, many Romans fought each other to claim power. In the end, a man named Augustus took control of Rome. This would mark the end of the Republican era in 27 BC in the beginning of the Roman Empire. Instead of a government ruled by many citizens in the Senate, it was ruled by one man called the Emperor. This was first Augustus, and then he picked the next Emperor for when he passed, and the next one would pick someone else to rule, and so on and so on. Sometimes this was their son, like in the earlier days of the Roman Kingdom, but other times it could be a distant relative, or someone they weren't related to at all. This sometimes created violence, especially later in the empire. The Roman Empire would continue to expand for many years, eventually reaching its largest landmass under an emperor named Trajan in the year 117. It was about 2 million square miles, or about half the size of the entire United States. This was during an era with really excellent emperors, called the Five Good Emperors, and was considered a high point for the Roman Empire. But sadly, after a high point, it has to go down. Invasions, plagues, and many other issues happened during the reigns of selfish or incompetent emperors, and it caused the Roman Empire to decline. Slowly over the years, land that had belonged to the Romans was taken by their enemies. Many people tried to stop this and bring Rome back up, but none were able to create lasting impacts. This caused the empire to split in half, creating the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. The Western Roman Empire would continue to decline, and finally in the year 476, Rome fell. While the Western Roman Empire had collapsed, 
the Eastern Roman Empire thrived, being based out of Constantinople. They referred to themselves as Roman, and the true Roman Empire, even though the city of Rome did not physically fall in the border of their empire. Today, we refer to them as the Byzantine Empire. This would last until 1453, when the Ottoman Empire finally took Constantinople, ending the Romans for good. This means that Rome existed for 2,206 years. It lasted 750 years before Jesus to just 50 years before the New World was discovered by Columbus. That's a long time. But let's talk and let's see what the takeaways are from this. Number one, Rome lasted a very long time and changed a lot over that time. Rome looked and acted very different based on the era it was in. Number two, much of Western civilization was created by the Romans, including our government and laws. And lastly, number three, big things can have small beginnings. Rome started as just a tiny town and grew to control the known world. So believe it or not, that's only a brief history of Rome. The entire history of Rome fills books that are larger than either you or I. I hope you've taken away a bit of knowledge on Rome and now understand more about this ancient civilization. For some, I hope that I have lit an interest in history, particularly the Romans. If you are interested in learning more about Rome, talk to your parent or educators about the best way to find books or videos on it. And if you like, subscribe to my channel as I will be continuously creating videos about Rome, both those aimed at children and those more geared towards adults. So, until next time, Wale, young legionaries.